channel if you are new here welcome if you're an oldie welcome back guys let's just talk about everything that you see here so you will see in this video that i originally had different expectations on this look um for one my brows are not the same um i feel like I look like how I feel about this look like I don't feel very well put together um it's just not working for me you know um I wanted this wig to look different I wanted this look to turn out different and it's not I'm giving you I just woke up vibes and I didn't I didn't the hair's not taking the curl it has like some spritz like you need to be like uh, it's just not a good look but i wanted to still give y'all this video one because i took the time to record it okay obvious okay two i wanted to show you guys that just because i'm a makeup artist don't mean i don't mess up or like the vision that i have in my head doesn't always come out the same way um and so that's why i'm here you know at the end of the day i'm gonna give y'all 100 percent how my channel is gonna be you know i can get a look together if i need to just a plain old Jane or if I really had the time I could fix it but I really am so frustrated with the look I don't even want to give it any extra time like the the hair <sighs> one I think where I messed up as I was trying to force this look because I was really upset that I didn't do anything for October no pink tober look I've done it before in the past and I just was really kind of upset that I didn't do anything two I was also trying to like force it in here because i want to wear this wig and i feel like i didn't have a true idea because normally when i do looks i have an idea or a goal set in mind and i didn't have anything i was just gonna just start grabbing stuff and i think that's not how i work and anyone who knows me i'm not a person that just can't do random stuff i need to know what's going on and how it's gonna be planned out so just just you know be patient with your girl in this video Sorry about how it's just going to be a little bit everywhere and how we don't, you know. I definitely didn't show you guys how I came back and why my brows are so dark because the white was hard to cover up for some reason. You know, you would think putting on brown or another color on top of white, it wouldn't be hard. But I think it's because the, the liquid eyeliner just kind of didn't transition well. So I think that's what affected this, the brows. But... <sighs> y'all my next video we're gonna come back better than ever so i'm sorry but i appreciate you guys watching and maybe you could still learn something from the video or at least you learn what not to do in the video but let's just go ahead and get into the video so you can see how we got here the first thing we're going to do is use our nyf eyeliner pencil and the color white and we're going to use that to fill in our brows um I'm going to try to get as much as I can on camera, guys, because y'all know I really don't like doing my brows on camera like that. It's just like a lot of focus on that's the thing that takes the most time for me, but we're going to do the best we can. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to clean up a little bit more and I'm going to go in with my NYX liquid liner and I'm going to use that to like do some strokes within the brows. So try to um, hide as much as I can 
the natural color of my brows and just to give it that natural look as the best as possible so i'm going to go in and do that and then i'll come back so we can do the actual uh, color for my lid so for the first shade that i'm going to use with this pink look is i'm going to go in with my crayon case and i'm going to use my crayon case and i'm going to use this very dark fuchsia tone eyeshadow as the first transition shade Next, what I'm going to do is blend out the upper part of the shadow from the James Charles Morphe palette with the shadow Pinkity Drinkity. And that's what I'm going to use to like transition this part of the upper brow. I'm going to go in on top of this color using the tone skip from the james charles morphe palette to kind of darken the areas again i mean i'm just applying more pink because the whole look is about being it's a pink look so it's a little different so that's what we're going to do here in this next step is apply pinkity drinkity and then also on top of that i'm going to go in with the juvia's place the masquerade palette and i'm going to go in with bori to go on top of that as well so we're going to uh, build up this color even though it's pink we're going to still build it up so it can be a strong um, solid color blend it out and it's going to be ready for the glitter application so we're going to just do that in these next couple steps All right, so next what I'm gonna do is go in with my NYX glitter glue and I'm gonna apply that with my finger like in a blot method. That way the um, glitter can be um, blended out throughout the lid. I don't want it to be, if I use a brush, I feel like it'll be more centered to one area. I feel like my finger, you know, I don't know. I think it has a better application. So we're gonna do that and see how it turned out. So next what we're going to do since my eyeshadow has been applied is I'm going to go in with the white eyeliner from NYX and it's a liquid eyeliner and I'm going to just form a little strip liner. This is what I'm going to do to like form my liner. I'm going to do more but I want to do this part first because then I'm going to go in on top of that once I do my face because I'm going to do some stuff on my bottom um, waterline and things like that. So I just want to do this first part so that's what I'm going to do here in this next step before I apply my face off camera. That's pretty easy. Usually I'd be struggling with the liner. So that is done. And so next what I'm gonna do is do my face off camera and then I'm gonna come back so we can finish the water line and um, the other things I'm gonna add on to this look. So I will be back for once the face is done. All right guys, so what we're gonna do here is do the water line and then extend out the inner part of my eyes. I don't even know where I was coming on with this look, but but here we are. 
I don't know if I really like it or not, but I'm gonna keep doing it to the end and see how the final look comes into play. And that's gonna really determine how it turned out. Next, I'm going in with my white eyeshadow base, and I'm going to put that under my waterline so that I'm able to blend out the lid. So I put the white eyeshadow base under my waterline so that way I'm able to apply the pink and it can show more because the pink is very light and when you have lighter shade tones um, that you're trying to apply to your skin, um, sometimes it's harder for them to be applied. So I use the white eyeshadow base to make it pop or just to let the color be seen as I intend it to be. So we're going in with the pinkity drinkity and that's what I'm applying as the waterline shade. It felt like a pink blanket, but yeah. So next what I did just to like darken a little bit because it was a little bit too pale for me is I go in with my, so I'm going in with my blush from Everlane Fit Me and this is in the shade Rose and I'm going in with that to also apply it to my, and I'm going in with that to apply it to my water. Okay. Yeah, the, the powder is what really be getting it. The powder is really what be making my eyes blink. I don't know if I really felt the need. I think like what I'm really not feeling is my brows. But yeah. I don't know how else to correct that. <laughs> I feel like the look will look right. The brows won't like. Well, there we go now, so it's kind of like weirdy. Um, but let me go do my hair and we'll come back for the final. <laughs> final. Alright guys, well that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it and made it this far, please don't forget to thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload, guys. And your girl is feeling really down about this look, y'all. So leave some positive comments in the comment section below because I need some motivation for the next look, okay? Because this is a thumbs down. I'm just like, what? Like this type of look and then I got a cardigan on. It don't match. <sighs> we gonna do better. We are going to do better. So I will be back guys with a better look. Let's just be patient with me and I'm gonna just continue to get better. But as always, guys, stay true and stay you. As you can see, we are on this channel. And I will see you guys in the next video.